Here we're asked to evaluate these two logarithms. But if we use the definition, we have to ask ourselves, 3 to what power will give me 5? Well, 5 is not a perfect power of 3. 3 to the 1 power is 3. 3 squared is 9. So the answer here is going to be somewhere between 1 and 2. Okay, when it's not even like that, you're going to have to use the, what's called the change of base formula. Okay, if we have log base b of x, um, we can get an answer by taking the log base a of the argument there, x, divided by log base a of the old base b. Now you can choose to change the base from b to any base you want. But on the calculator, there's really only two choices. We have base e on the calculator, which is the natural log, or base 10, which is the common log on your calculator, just log. Okay, so to use the formula, we would take, in this case, the natural log of the argument there, 5, and divide that by the natural log of the old base, 3. Now you can also use the common log, log, when there's no base there, it's base 10. Log of 5 divided by log of 3. In either case, either one of these, you use a calculator and you'll get approximately 1.46. Okay, so what's that saying is that 3 to the 1.46 power is approximately equal to 5. Okay, let's do the same thing down here. Um, here are the arguments of fraction. We have 3 to what power is going to be 1 half? Certainly 1 half is not a perfect power of 3. 3 to the negative 1 power is uh, 1 third. And 3 to the negative 2 power, uh, well, 3 to the 0 power, I guess, would be 1, right? So it's somewhere between 0 and negative 1. In any case, let's use the change of base. So we would take the log of the argument, 1 half, and divide that by the log of the old base there, 3. Okay, so on a calculator, I get negative 0 0.63. Okay, so that says 3 to the negative 0 0.63 power should be approximately equal to 1 half.